The key you're missing in manifestation. So if you're somebody who's curious about manifesting, have a vision board that seems to get nowhere, or are trying to figure out what you're doing wrong, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the key that I've seen so many of my clients in over a decade miss in the manifestation process, how to discover what's missing and start to co-create with the universe with ease. Manifestation, what is it? How does it work? How do we know what's missing? Well, let's first by recognizing that manifestation is co-creating with the universe. You came in as a being to create. That is part of your divine birthright. And the more that we can connect back to ourselves, back to our spirit, back to our intuition, back to our ability to make things, the easier that we will find manifesting and have it be a lot more fun. So, hi. Let's start there. I am Sonia, I'm a fourth generation intuitive and I teach you how to plug back into your innate divine self, your intuition. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. If you're returning, welcome back. So first things first, if you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe, that little bell notification. I release new videos every single week. And on the topic of manifestation, I am so excited because this Wednesday I am teaching a workshop all on manifesting. So if you're curious on how to really put these tools into practice, develop a community, or just supercharge yourself and really start to get some traction, then definitely sign up for my workshop. They are my favorite because I love to connect with you. So enough housekeeping. Let's get down to business. So just recently, I manifested two tickets to Burning Man. Now for me, I love Burning Man. It's a place that I find joy and fun and creativity. It fills up my soul cup. And this year they allotted only 10,000 tickets. So it made it a very, very hard ticket, notoriously hard. Everybody who was talking about it was like, it's next to impossible to get these tickets. But I decided that I was gonna get these tickets. So the first thing that I did was I printed out a piece of paper that was an order confirmation, photoshopped with this year. I created a little altar with tickets, printed out tickets. I sat in meditation and visualized my tickets. I visualized the experience, but most importantly, I visualized how I felt at Burning Man, which was just the most excited, open possibility and I really had that as my base of my manifesting. And when tickets came on sale, the first thing within five minutes, I got my tickets, I got my vehicle pass, I got everything. And even going into it, I had a calm sense that I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this. So I manifested it, but how does that work? You're like, well, isn't that what I wanna do? <laughs> Well, the first thing that I'd say is a lot of times in manifestation, it first connects us to our heart space. We can't create what we can't envision. We can't create what we don't love. What I've seen with my clients again and again is oftentimes we can imagine a solution to a problem of something that we think we want, but we don't actually want. We might think that we want a house, but in reality, we want foundation and a security. We might think that we want a relationship, but instead, what we're really subconsciously wanting is somebody to come save us or sweep us off our feet. Now, the problem with that is that our manifestation is connected first to our heart space. Those are the things that we love because manifestation requires our attention, what it is that we focus on. Now, when we think about focus, and especially in our busy worlds, like how do I stay focused? Well, our intention and attention naturally entrains to the things that we love. If you think about somebody that you love, you have a kid or a pet or a friend, you'll notice that you think about them effortlessly and maintaining your focus takes no trouble at all. So when we can start to approach manifestation instead of what do I want outside of myself that I don't have, what is an experience that I would love to have next? How do I want my life to feel. 
These are really important foundational questions that start to help us use the tool of self-discrimination and self-reflection to get the, to the heart of what it is that we truly want. And that becomes our goal. That becomes our attention and our foundation. And that's where we start to put our energy and attention and effort into creating. And when we try and create things that we think we want, that we're told that we want, like for example, I had a client for years who all she wanted was a relationship. And she came to me, she was like, I'm trying to manifest a relationship and it's just not working on my vision board. I got my letter to the universe. I got all these different things. I'm on the dating apps and I don't have anyone showing up at my door. So the first thing that we did was just even start to scan her energy. And then I started to ask her, well, how do you feel about relationships? What would a relationship change in your life? And she was like, well, you know, if I have a relationship, then everything is gonna be better. I'll have my own family and I'll have my own unit and I'll have all these different things that I really, 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 really want more than anything in the whole wide world. And when I energetically tuned into it, the thing that I felt was it wasn't a relationship that she wanted. Well, yeah, but also connection. And that even her idea of this fantasy of what relationship is, which was Prince Charming coming to save the day, wasn't gonna be able to be manifested. Instead, what she kept manifesting was nothing. And then when she started to really get some manifestation, what she kept finding was these needy, controlling dudes. And her own inability to just be discriminatory because she was so available for a relationship. And it wasn't until her relationship crashed and burned that she came back to the drawing board and was like, okay, what am I missing? And we're like, what you're missing is you. And what you're missing is a foundation of self-love that then emanates out into connecting to a relationship. So let's start by dating yourself. Manifest being in love with yourself and having that naturally attract a partner. So she did a lot of foundational self-love work. A lot of different things in her life changed. And it wasn't until she got to a point where she was like, a relationship would add wonderful things to my life, but it's not something that will complete me. And then all of a sudden her neighbor who moved in next door knocked and now they are currently dating. We'll see how it goes. It's going well right now. But she was like, I manifested that. I knew that once I had created that foundation in myself and wasn't looking for a quick fix, that was when I was actually open to possibility instead of trying to be in control. So the first thing I wanna say is what you're missing is first of all, look at what are the things that you wanna create. Do you wanna create a house? Do you want a beautiful house or a vacation? What are your beliefs around that? Do you think it's gonna be hard or strenuous? Do you think it's gonna be exhausting? Do you think it's for everyone else? When we start to look at our beliefs, we can start to pay attention to what we're telling our subconscious mind, which is a yes machine. The subconscious says yes. So when we can start to look at our subconscious patternings and beliefs and behaviors, that's when we can start to change the input. Instead of wanting some magic fix, we can start to connect to like, what are the things in my life that I want to feel good? And then from there, we can create affirmations or beliefs that help to create and support that subconscious structure. Second, what is it that you love? What would you love to experience next? How can you infuse love, deep love that naturally holds your attention, naturally entrains, naturally creates a, a, a momentum to be able to co-create with the universe? And if you're looking at what it is that you're having trouble manifesting, ask, is that what you really want to create? Or is that a creative head solution when something deeper is missing? And we can do that by just even journaling. Get out your journal, journal for a few minutes and just start to see what are the things that I want and why do I want them? What do I think the outcome will be and how will that change my life? And when we can see there, we can oftentimes start to pay attention to what's underneath the surface. So the big key that you're missing in manifesting one is love. It comes from a place of connection and love. And second of all, of asking ourselves, how do I want my life to feel and how can I create more space to connect to that experience? Instead of looking from the outside in, 
Start to look from the inside out and that will naturally and powerfully reconnect you to your ability as a divine co-creator because everything in your life is a manifestation. You already are a successful manifester. Start recognizing that and celebrating that because that too will help to have you reframe your experience of like, oh yeah, I manifested my job, my relationship, my, my groceries, anything and everything. And that helps to build our confidence and gives us more flow and possibility. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And as always, like I said, don't forget to join my manifestation workshop. It's gonna be so fun and exciting. I absolutely love it. And I'll see you next week. Sending you all my love.